CSRF attacks have impacted top tech companies like YouTube, TikTok, and Netflix, allowing attackers to change usernames, passwords, and even transfer money, fully compromising user accounts. So, how do these attacks work? When a user logs into a website, an authenticated session is created and session data is stored in cookies. If a web application relies only on these cookies to verify users, it's vulnerable to CSRF, cross site request forgery. Imagine you log into your banking app called My Bank. Then you come across a social media post promoting a fake giveaway related to My Bank. You click on it, hoping for a cashback, and suddenly, without your knowledge, your bank balance drops to zero. Let's see what happened under the hood. When you visited the malicious My Bank offer site, a hidden post request was automatically sent to the legitimate My Bank server. This request used your browser session cookie, which is still valid, and transferred money to the attacker's account. This happened silently through auto submitting the form via JavaScript on page load. We can prevent these attacks by using CSRF tokens. These are unique random values tied to each session and specific to our application. The application sends these unique CSRF token in the login request and pairs it with the session information. This token is included in every form or request and the server validates both the session ID and the CSRF token which eliminates the risk of cross site attacks. We can also use the same site cookie attribute. Adding same site as street ensures that cookies aren't sent on any cross site requests. Alternatively, we can use lags, which includes cookies only on safe methods like get.